Hello Booktube! Uh, today I'm going to be showing you the books I picked up in February. Um, this month's book haul is smaller than the past few uh, book hauls have been. Um, originally I had planned on picking up a rather expensive budget busting book, although that plan sort of changed uh, towards the middle of the month. But I have, but my book haul this month is um, smaller than the past few, only eight books to show you today. Uh, the first two books are uh, for the book two prize, and so I'll show them first, and then I'll show you the other books I picked up. Um, I'm a judge for this year's book two prize, and while my preference is to check these books out from the library or since um, the pandemic, um, check them out via ebooks. Uh, and only picking up in physical copy those that aren't available. Um, although one of the books was available via audiobook from my library, I have come to understand that I really don't like audiobooks. I much prefer physical copies or ebooks to audiobooks. So, the two books I picked up for the book two price are Mediocre, um, The Dangerous Legacy of White Male America by Ijeoma Oluwo. I've uh, shown this a few times. Um, I've already read it. It's about white men behaving badly and, for the most part, getting away with it. Um, beyond that, I can't really say much except for I've read it and I'll talk about it at the end of March. The second book I picked up um, for the book two prize and I haven't gotten to yet. I'll read probably in about two weeks I think is when I'll get to this one is A Square Haunting Five Writers in London Between the Wars by Francesca Wade. So this is about uh, five writers and the into war period uh, and again as it's for the book to prize i can only say i've read it once i've read it until the um, results are announced for the octafinals the next two books um i picked up from pals the storied independent bookstore in portland oregon that i've been um buying books from for the past few months since I saw they were struggling, uh, I think in June or July, I think I saw an article on the Oregon Public Broadcasting's website and decided to help them out by uh, buying some books from them. And I've since bought something from Pals about once a month. So anyway, so this month I have uh, two books from Pals. The first one is a biography um, Catherine de' Medici by Leone, uh, Leone Frida. I read this book a few years ago and quite liked it. And towards the end of last year, I really wanted this book. And I kind of hemmed and hawed. But after having read um, uh, Black Prince of Florence by uh, Catherine Fletcher, which is a biography of... Um, Catherine de' Medici's brother, Alessandro de' Medici, it served as a real kick in the pants to finally pick this up. So I did. The next book I picked up is uh, in the same time period. It's, an, it's a work of history. Uh, Game of Queens, The Women Who Made 16th Century Europe by Sarah Gristwold. No, Gristwood. I keep mispronouncing her last name. Um, this is a history uh, focusing on a lot of the queens and what they uh, were up to and how they influenced uh, 16th century Europe. Uh, the next three books are um, pre-orders. The first pre-order that came in is uh, Gay Bar, Why We Went Out by Jeremy Atherton Lynn. Um, this is a mix of, me of memoir and social history of the gay bar and its role in um, gay social history. 
Um, I saw this a few, about a month or so ago on um, Supposedly Fun's channel. And it appealed to me and I decided to pick it up and can't wait to get to it. The next book I picked out is um, one that I've wanted for a while. And that is um, The Triumph of the Moon, A History of Modern Pagan Witchcraft by Ronald Hutton. Um, I picked, I've read his um, more recent book, The Witch, and quite liked it. And I wanted a lot more of his work because a lot of his areas of interest are also interests of mine. And I've wanted this book for quite some time. Um, this is a, a re-release and was originally scheduled to come out next month, but I guess the um, publication was moved forward and I managed to get this book in before uh, last week's um, winter storms hit. And I cannot wait to get to it. The third book I pre-ordered and the earliest one that I pre-ordered, I've had this on pre-order for quite a few months, is Unworthy Republic, um, The Dispossession of Native Americans and the Road to Indian Territory by Claudio Sant. Um, this is a history of the persecution of the southeastern Native American tribes and their eventual um, um, removal, um, exile to what is now Oklahoma. And that is certainly going to be some heavy reading. So coming out, and this uh, came out, uh, Unworthy Republic came out. Uh, just this week and I also had another book I had um, on pre-order um, The Enlightenment uh, The Pursuit of Happiness uh, 1680 to 1790 by Richie Richardson um, that I had on pre-order and it was the budget buster um, but Steve Donahue offered to uh, send me the advanced copy, so I'm like, yay, and went ahead and canceled the pre-order, and that cleared up some space to pick up some more books. Um, around this time, I read and really enjoyed, loved um, The City We Became by N.K. Jemison, and so that got me into wanting to pick up some more science fiction and fantasy, so that's what I did. Um, one of the books was a pre-order that was supposed to come out the 16th, but fortunately, the publication got moved uh, up to March, so it should be coming out in March. And I'm counting um, Square Haunting as one of the books I got to make up, or that freed up uh, budget space. And the last book that I'm going to show you is... Uh, science fiction and fantasy. It's a um, space opera that in its a uh, winter's orbit by Everina Maxwell. I picked this up from Book People um, about two weeks ago, and it ha and it's a um, well. First, let's talk about the book. It's a space opera in which a solar system based. Um, Space Empire. I'm thinking the Space Empire is limited to only one solar system, although it could also be like a group of solar systems relatively near to each other um, who advance their interest in the ties of empire through marriage alliances. And so the premise of this book is that one of the um, least useful members of the imperial family or the royal family is set to marry a VIP from a neighboring planet to take the place of a cousin who uh, died under mysterious circumstances. And I'm quite looking forward to it. Um, so I picked this up from, I'm going to go show you it again because I love this cover. So I picked this up from Book People, which is the storied 
amazing independent bookstore in Austin. Uh, largely the main thing I miss about not living in Austin anymore is going to book people. When I lived in Austin, I would go to book people at least once a week, um, particularly towards the end. Just, it's an amazing bookstore. Um, but anyway, so I ordered this from book people and it took quite a while to get to me. Although, of course, the um, winter storm uh, interfered quite a bit on it. But I'm quite happy to finally have it. Um, it came in on Monday and then uh, Square Haunting and um, Unworthy Republic came in on uh, Tuesday. So anyway, so next month is going to be uh, very science fiction and fantasy heavy. Um, exactly how heavy, I don't know. And April's going to be as heavy with science fiction and fantasy. So anyway, so these, um, so this is my February book haul. Um, I'm going to go ahead and sign off now and get these logged into my uh, library and then get them sorted on the shelves. Which is going to be fun because this is the only science fiction and fantasy I have. Ooh, and that's going to be fun having to move all the other books to accommodate it. But anyway, that's the fun of book haul. So anyway, I will see you in a few hours with a weekly reads. So until then, thank you BookTube. Have a great afternoon and stay safe.